today's review, we're going to be going over the uh, B5 Systems SOP Mod Stock. This one here is obviously the black version. They come in a, di a couple different colors and patterns. We'll get more into that in the review. And uh, basically, to, coming up, I'm going to do a little bit of shooting with this uh, stock on there and several different rifles. And break it down, do some comparisons with some other models out there on the market. Let you know what I think of it. And uh, that'll pretty much do it. But anyway, we'll get back into putting rounds down range. One of the things that's nice about having that extra material there for your cheek rest is not just the uh, consistent position you get when shouldering the rifle, standing or moving or anything like that, but when you're down in the prone and you have to lay down behind the glass for any sort of extended period of time, it's definitely much more comfortable than what you see with a standard M4 stock, for instance. So it lets you maintain that consistent cheek weld while you're uh, looking on the glass or on your sights, whatever the case may be for an extended period of time. So I pulled the stock off the rifle to get a closer look at it. I guess we'll start rear to front. Take a look here at the back. You will see the uh, rubber butt plate there. That is for a couple reasons, obviously, to uh, reduce the recoil, uh, felt recoil. It does absorb some of it, but the primary reason for it is gonna be to go ahead and, get, it kind of grabs onto your clothing or your gear. If you have a vest on or anything like that, it's gonna kind of grab onto it and give your rifle a little bit more secure feel in your uh, pocket of your shoulder there. It is removable though for those of you guys that want to uh, go ahead and save some weight. I know a lot of AR guys are weight junkies, so uh, if you want to remove some weight there, you can just run it with just the polymer backing on there. Up here you see the uh, quick detach swivel mount. For those of you guys that are kind of new to this and uh, don't know what that does, basically take a quick detach mount like this, you go ahead and put it in there, push the rear button here, it seats in there, and this one is not anti-rotational or non-rotational, I should say, meaning that if you go ahead and turn it, it will not turn once it's in there. The advantage of that is that uh, you know if you go ahead and sling your weapon, it's not going to be moving around as much as you move. You can go ahead and uh, tighten your sling up, and the rifle's going to stay really secure on there. Here's the latch that we have here. One of the few differences between this and the LMT version, which I guess I'll bring that up now, there is an LMT version of this. They're almost identical. There's a couple small variations. The handle here is going to be one of them. Uh, slightly different gripping surface and profile, but other than that, almost identical. To go ahead and change the length there, you just push up on that, which reduces the tension on the, on the tube. And we'll get into the tube here in a little bit. And uh, to go ahead and take it off your rifle, you just pull up on it like this on the rear, and it will come right off your rifle. Up front here, you see two battery compartments. The way to access those battery compartments is when they're stored like this, you go ahead and turn it. This little lever will come out. You can actually pull the entire battery compartment out if you want. Again, to save weight if that's what you so choose. Or you can just pull this little tab off. As you can see there, it is O-ring sealed. They are waterproof. You can completely submerge the stock with those batteries in there and no water will get in there. I have tried it. I assure you it is true. And they uh, they take your standard CR123 batteries, put them in there whichever way you'd like. You put three or four in there, close it up, seal it up, put it back on the rifle, turn it back in there, and you're good to go. Um, one of the advantages of that, for those guys that want a little bit more weight on the rifle, to help absorb recoil or just to balance out your rifle a little bit better, uh, you can go ahead and store them in there. A lot of guys just like to store them as well in case their lights go dim or what have you. I'm uh, moving on to the other side. The quick detach is on that side as well. And if you take a look at the profile of the stock, you will see that that nice wide cheek rest there uh, does a good job there for uh, consistent shouldering of the weapon. And just to give you a contrast of what the uh, other stocks out there on the market are going to look like, this is a Magpul MOE stock camera focus there. You can see the difference there in the width. There's nothing wrong with the MOE stock. It's an excellent stock. You guys have seen it on many of my rifles. But there's no doubt about it, at least in my opinion, to me, this stock, the B5 stock I should say, is much more comfortable when shouldering the rifle or especially like you saw earlier in the video when you're getting down behind it. Especially if you have to sit on that rifle for an extended period of time looking through your optics or your sights. Uh, B5, much, much more comfortable. And the other B5 stock, the Bravo, the Sotmob Bravo, which you guys have seen in a previous review of mine, has a lot of the same features, but it's a little bit more narrow and obviously a little bit more lightweight. You can see the profiles from above. I do like the Sotmob Bravo a lot as well as the Sotmob. Uh, I guess just uh, personal preference on that, but excellent stock as well, a little bit thinner, uh, a little bit more lightweight. While we're talking about weight, I'll go ahead and bust up the scale. 
to show you guys what this thing actually weighs. It's definitely not an overly heavy stock, but it's not a lightweight one either. It's somewhat in the middle. And we'll go ahead and show you that here real quick. Go ahead and put it on there. Oh, those batteries are in there. I was like, that weight's not right. Hold on one second. We'll pull those out, guys. My bad. Drop those batteries out. Put them back in there. Oops, move it out so you guys can see. There you go. Coming in at 11 ounces. 11.1 ounces. So, like I said, not exactly heavy, not exactly light. Somewhere in the middle. One of the negative comments you may read out there on the internet about these stocks is that they don't fit my uh, receiver extension or that they're just too tight. Well, I got a Colt middle spec receiver extension here. We're going to go ahead and slide it on there. What you do is you just put it in there, like I said. We're going to lift up here on the bottom and send it home. And as you can see there, another thing that uh, you may have read out there that it doesn't close all the way. Well, it definitely does close all the way, so get that out of the way. And you can see, when you lock it into place, it is very secure. Very little movement there on your middle spec uh, receiver extension, but by just pressing the button in, it does move freely. Now that, like I said, is the Colt. We'll go ahead and show you another one while we're at it. This right here, next one up, is going to be my uh, Palmetto State Armory. Uh, receiver extension this is from one of their build kits I put together. And go ahead and slide it on again. Pull down the tab, right forward, and there you go. Same thing. Very little, very very little play, which is nice in my opinion. You don't have your stock flopping around, but yet you still can move it back and forth without any sort of excessive force being put on the rifle. Just a couple important pieces that I didn't mention so far on the review is uh, color. First off, this one here is obviously in black. They come in many different colors to include uh, ATAX patterns, uh, hydrojet patterns, as well as solid color patterns. I believe Coyote, Flat Dark Earth, uh, and Green. Probably there's some others out there that are mission missing, but if you guys want to go ahead and accessorize your rifle and have your uh, color scheme match up, they do make quite a big variety in terms of uh, patterns and colors out there. So, good on them for that. Now, all those colors are going to be coming in right around the same price, price point. Uh, Depending on where you shop, generally you can find these stocks from anywhere from $90 to $110, somewhere in that range. Um, now, a few months ago they were kind of hard to find, but these days with the uh, panic kind of dying down a little bit, they're becoming more and more available. So, look for, look for them in the big retailers, uh, GNR Tactical, um, uh, there's several others, obviously I'm not missing off the top of my head, but if you go to B5, uh, systems.com, they have a list of their distributors on there and there's a whole bunch of them, BCM, there's others. Anyway, you guys can find it. I'll put a link below for that as well. But uh, they're out there. They're excellent stocks for the money. Um, obviously, a lot of people will say, oh, I want an M1T because that's what I use in the military. Well, I mean, if you want to spend an extra $100 on a stock, it really when you're going to get the same performance and build quality, have at it, man. I don't know what else to tell you, but all in all, it's an excellent stock. Shoulders well. It's durable. It's uh, contract, military proven. Uh, been beat up over there a lot more than most guys will ever do to their own rifles here at home and uh, it's running strong. So, as always guys, if you have any questions about this review, anything else I ever do here on the channel, you can free to, feel free to post below in the comments section. You can also post over on my Facebook page. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and hope to see you in the next video.